So this morning we are talking about after the fire comes promotion. My God, you don't stay in the fire forever. Job didn't stay in the fire forever. Daniel did not stay in the lion's den forever. Joseph did not stay in the pit forever. There is a time where God brings you out of that stuff and suddenly you are promoted. That's what we are talking about today. Don't you move. Morning Prayer with Pastor Sean Pinder. There is power, come on. There is power in the name of Jesus. Come on and worship with me on this morning. There is power in the name of Jesus. We love you, Master. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, Break every chain to break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. Love you, Lord. There is power in the name of Jesus. I love you, Master. There is power. In the name of Jesus To break every chain Break every chain Break every chain Come on, lift your hands to heaven and sing it To break every chain We love you this morning Sing it with me, there's an army Come on And there's an army Rising up There's an army there's an army rising. There's an army. There's an army rising up to break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. I feel the victory this morning to break every chain. Somebody shall break chain. Shout it with me this morning. Shout it. Break. Cheat. Sing it. Break. Cheat. Break. Cheat. Break. Cheat. Come on, church. Break. Cheat. Break. Cheat. Break. Cheat. Somebody shout, break, 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 break. Every demonic opposition, break. Break. Every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, every spiritual wickedness in high places, break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. I feel a breakthrough. Somebody shout, breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break, 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 break. She got a mama no bubble shot on the Somebody getting delivered this morning. Somebody getting delivered this morning. Someone's getting a breakthrough. My God, someone's been having a hard time here lately. And you've just been praying, God, I need a breakthrough. God, I need a breakthrough. Oh, God heard your cry. I heard something just snapped in the Holy Ghost. Something broke. Something moved from out of your way. Somebody put your hands together and just let me go to shouting and praising him. I feel the Holy Ghost here. Somebody get a breakthrough. My God, take it. Break. Cheat. Break, cheat, break, cheat, break, cheat. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with your wonderful people on this morning. Touch them, minister to them. Oh, we thank you for giving your people a breakthrough this morning. Oh, encourage their hearts and let them know that after the fire, then comes promotion. Glory to God. Nobody stays in the fire forever. 
on this earth as we are being tested and tried. There is a coming out moment, God. And after the fire, there's promotion. Give your people strength this morning. Encourage them, God. Lift their burdens. Comfort their hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray somebody say, Amen. Oh, glory to God. Good morning to you, wonderful saints of the Most High God. So this morning, we are talking about after the fire comes promotion. My God, you don't stay in the fire forever. Job didn't stay in the fire forever. Daniel did not stay in the lion's den forever. Joseph did not stay in the pit forever. There is a time where God brings you out of that stuff and suddenly you are promoted. That's what we are talking about today. Don't you move. So this brings us to the word of God here after the fire promotion. My God, my God. You know, I struggle with this verse of scripture for the longest in the Bible that says, Jesus said, many are called, but few I chosen many a call but few are chosen I struggled with that scripture for the longest I just didn't understand it but I remember years ago when the Holy Ghost opened my understanding to that word it just it transformed my life so I was reading in the book of Psalms I've either Psalms or Isaiah and the scripture said he has chosen you in the furnace of affliction oh glory to God he have chosen you in the furnace of affliction. What does that mean? Many are called, but few are chosen. He chosen you in the furnace of affliction. This is why he said many are called, but few are chosen. The few who are chosen, those are the ones who are willing to go through the fire for the Lord Jesus Christ. And when you are willing to go through the fire and still be madly in love with Jesus, he said, this is my guy right here. This is my woman. This is my man. This is my woman. This is my boy. This is my girl right here. They willing to go through the fire. He chooses you. So you determine whether you are going to be a part of the chosen few. Are you listening to me? I'm a part of the chosen few. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and say, God, I'm a part of the chosen few. Praise God from on high. Now watch this. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were issued a tough command from the king Nebuchadnezzar. He set up his golden image and he said, I'm commanding everyone in my region to bow to it. And if you don't bow, if you don't bow in that same hour, you're going to be thrown into a burning fiery furnace now i tell you what boy that'll tell you right that'll tell you real quick who's saving who ain't you talk about a fiery furnace and if you if you don't bow down and worship this false god you're going into the fire boy that'll empty out a lot of churches right there all by itself and so the Bible says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, it was reported to the king that these fellows are refusing to bow. These are my kind of guys here. Yeah. Let's just go all the way with God. This, listen, that, 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 that's just my personality. I'm either all the way in or all the way out. And listen, if I'm saved and sanctified and full of the Holy Ghost, I said, let's push it. Let's go all the way with it. Come on, let's take God at his word and just be willing to go all the way. Glory to God. So, so Shadrach, Meshach, and and Abednego say, yes, king, it's true. We refuse to bow. And the king said, I'm going to give you one more chance. <laughs> the devil will always try to use intimidation to get you to bow and conform to his will. But you just got to stand. The Bible says, and having done all to stand, stand. Glory to God. You just got to take a stand. My mom and them used to say, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. My God, my God. So they said, O king, we are not careful to answer you in this manner and in this way, but the God we serve, he is able. Come on, somebody lift your hands to heaven and say, God is able. The God I serve, he is able. The Bible says he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. So the king got angry and he commanded, verse 20, the most of Daniel 3, he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosts and their hats and their other garments and were 
cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, the fire exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that put their hands on Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up in haste and spoke and said, Under his counselors, did not we cast three men into the burning fiery furnace? They said, yes. He said, but I see a fourth one. It looks like the son of God the living God. Jesus showed up right there in the fire. My God, the Holy Ghost is talking to somebody this morning. Jesus is right there in the fire with you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, but I'll be with you even unto the end. The king said, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. Verse 26, then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fire furnace and spoke and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you servants of the Most High God. Boy, even the devil's folk got acknowledged God is the Most High. He said, come forth and come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth from the midst of the burning fire furnace. And the king said in verse 28, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The same person, he didn't even want to worship God. And now that Jesus showed up and made him look like a fool, he got to bow. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. He said in verse, he said in verse 29, Therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego should be cut into pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Here it comes, verse 30. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When did the king promote them? After they came out of the fire my God, the same way King Nebuchadnezzar promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's the same way God's about to promote you. After the fire, then comes promotion. James says, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations of various kinds. For the trying of your faith worketh patience and allow patience to have its perfect work in you that you may be complete, lacking absolutely nothing. After the fire, then comes promotion. God, I look to you. God, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision, Lord. Give me vision to see things like you do. To see things like you do. God, I look to you. I love you. You're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom. You know just what to do. And I will love you, Lord, my strength. And I will love you, Lord. My shield, and I will love you, Lord, my rock, forever, all my days. I will love you, Lord, forever, forever, all my days. God, I look to you. Sing with me. God, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. To see things like you do. God, I look to you. You're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom. You know just what to do. And I will love you. You, Lord, 
my strength and I will love you Lord my shield and I will love you Lord my rock forever all my days I will love forever all my days forever all my days glory to Jesus listen on this morning we want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to support the kingdom of God you can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry PayPal account that address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries you can also give through the ministry Zell account the ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net info at seanpinder.net you can also give through the ministry cash app account the ministry's cash app account is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries you can also mail your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries PO Box 2726 McKinney Texas 75070 never forget me and my lovely beautiful wife Pastor Amy we love all of you so much we appreciate you and remember check these other videos out to your right which is on my left there will be a great source of strength and encouragement to you we will see you again on tomorrow morning for another morning prayer broadcast god bless you